Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to Rec Nation. I'm a new cat around here. We're just going to be taking a look at highlights, certain players every single year. Something new I'm going to do, cook up, put up every once in every couple days, you know, I'm not going to be grinding, it's just, <clears throat> just for fun. If you guys with it, if you guys want to want to watch with me, <clears throat> that'd be dope, I appreciate that. And uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, today's going to be about Chase Garbers. Um, I saw a few mini clips up on Twitter, and basically they were saying um, that he has a pretty decent arm. And the, his um, he's pretty athletic. Like, you know, he's he's not, he can run. And he, that D ball doesn't look that bad from the clips that I've seen. But, you know, I haven't really took a look at the whole, uh, highlights from him so we're gonna take a look at a decent amount of highlights today and see where it goes <clears throat> let me know what you guys think at the end of the video in the comments <clears throat> and uh you know we'll stay in touch and, and talk about this guy let's check him out Could be the final play of the quarter here. Garbers, nice little check down and shit also remember when these guys go undrafted Cause this guy went, went undrafted, you know, he ended up going undrafted. He's going to be a rookie in the NFL, but you guys also got to think about the team he's playing with, you know, maybe his line wasn't that great. You know, like when you see like, look, that's a nice ball. And he kind of had someone right on him that he had a lot of pressure on him. So like, if you take a look at all these deep balls, he always has someone like right on him. They get these undrafted guys, these seven rounders, six rounders, you know, and they just come out of nowhere and just ball out. You know, football, bro, is all about just the human. You know, like how, you know, what type of, what type, what type of character, uh, characteristics do you guys have around you? You know, discipline. Do you have discipline? Can you learn? Do you have the ability to learn? If you have the ability to learn, if you have a good, good work ethic, like you can, you can go so far in the league. You know, it doesn't matter where you get drafted. That's pretty, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like what I'm watching right now. That's a nice throw. Look, he has, look, he has to jump up to throw this ball. And he, and that's still a perfect ball. You see, he literally jumped up because there's a guy right on him, bro. That's nice. Instead of getting sacked, he just... Look at this. He was kind of unbalanced. And he still... And he got feet. But I like him. You know, I really like what these guys are doing this year. Like, you know, we have competition everywhere. You got a nice rookie that can probably win a third string. Maybe, like, who knows? He can probably be the straight backup. You know what I mean? Like, when you watch someone play, you know, when you watch highlights and shit, decision-making, I know, like, these are just, like, the good highlights from him because we obviously got to look at the bad, too. But I'm not looking at the bad, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I ain't about that negativity. I'm going to look at what they got. You know, because if someone has a shit ton of highlights, that means they had a lot of really good plays. You know what I mean? If someone has, like, a two-minute highlight video, there's a possibility that guy's... Now that's the guy you got. You got to be like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have enough tape. This guy has a shit. Like, this guy has a pretty long highlight videos. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. See, that was a really good ball. Damn, man. Like 
pressure coming from Hicks. Garber. He just avoided that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. That's a nice backhand, bro. That's against that's against a top top pick this year. I think that dude went to the Giants if I'm right, right, Tibro? I think I'm not sure, man. I didn't really watch the draft like that, cause you know, like you, you already know our team. We had like we had to wait till the third round, so. Damn, man, he could run. The only thing is that he has to make sure he slides because in NFL, he's going to get rocked, you know what I'm saying? So he has to be careful. That's a perfect throw right there. There was two dudes on him, bro, technically. Like, he always has to jump up, you see what I mean? You see how he had to, like, that was a really good ball, but he still had to jump up because... His right tackle got beat. Look, right here, there's a guy run on, like, and he ran for it. But you see how he got rock? He has to, like, kind of, once he knows he has it, he has to just commit and go down. You know what I'm saying? Don't take that hit because those hits hurt, especially in the NFL. These dudes are big, big and built, older, experienced. Those, hit, those hits are even, like, more impactful on someone, you know what I mean? Because they've been doing it for so long. That's a nice catch from the receiver. I like him, man. I'd rather have this dude than Nathan Peterman, bro. Like I said, 100%. We had Nathan Peterman, bro, for, like, a couple seasons, bro, straight. Like, low-key, that shit was getting frustrating. I'm glad that they brought some fle some fresh, um, uh, some fresh legs from the draft, you know? And then some, vet some vets that we got in that trade that we just did. But I think they're just doing that for competition, you know? And if you really think about it, think about this guy. He's a rookie. And then you got a vet. I know they're both going to be like, but that rookie, you know, when you're a rookie, bro, think about it. And you come into the NFL that first year, you know, you're going to give it your all. If you're decent, like that's a hard throw what he just did right now. That's a Patrick Mahomes throw. He's running towards his left and he has to like, you know, the ball technically since you're running left, it'll go, it'll favor more towards the left side because of the angle that you're throwing it on. But he's still able to throw that towards the right for the receiver to catch it. And it's a good catch. And ball placement. Look at this. He's not that bad, bro. For my eyes, he's not that bad. If you give him a better team around him, that's where you got to see how, you know what I'm saying? This is against this is against his teammate. Now, the Paulo Malo guy, uh, guy that we got, I want to make a video on him too because I like him. I like him a lot. That's like the nephew or thing, right? Nephew, cousin, something. I think it's a nephew. If I'm right. The so, Palomalo. It's not Palomalu. It's like. Do you say it different? Everyone says it like if it's Troy Palomalo, but it's not. Is it? He has a different last name, Palomao or something like that, or Palau. <laughs> Bro, Loki, I don't fucking know.
I think I think this dude's good. I think this dude's good, bro. Who cares if you went undrafted? He's gonna get better coaching. He's gonna be good. If his work ethic is good, right? You know what I'm saying? Like he's we got it. We got it. Because all you really need is a chance. You know what I'm saying? And you get that starting quarterback chance, bro, where you have to step in and make plays. And if you do good, they're gonna give you a chance. Look at look at last year for the Texans. Uh, was it last year or was the year before? You know, I don't really follow Texans like that, but I know that Davis Mills guy, he got a chance, and they didn't they didn't even know what they were gonna do quarterback wise. He got a chance. He he balled out, and now he's the starter. You know. I'm telling you, man, I I really like this guy, man. I I think he's uh he's definitely gonna be a good player if he has good work ethic if you know if he has the ability to learn and um and keep grinding you know because this coaching staff is 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 a pretty good coaching staff that we got i feel like we got we got pretty lucky on them and you know with all the additions that they've been um making it's uh it's huge man i i really believe that we're going to be i would say top 10 i won't say top 5 because like other football teams got better as well, you know, like you can't just fucking expect us to be the best. Like, you know, there's other teams that are nasty as well, you know, but um, I would say top 10 for sure, depending on how our, de our defense plays, you know, because our defense looks good, but are they going to play good? That's the question. So, you know, even though we got Patrick Graham, I know he's a good coach, but we still got to wait and see, you know what I mean? Comes down to the players. But <clears throat> guys, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody that stay tuned until now i'm going to be making a lot of these more videos and uh you know we'll see where they uh go i appreciate everybody make sure you guys follow and just wait up on the videos turn on those notifications like the video dislike the video comment on the video let me know what you guys think about this guy and who you feel like i should make a video on next reg the nation Ow!